the Great White Buffalo. Actually, Great White Buffalo from Saxon. CBT guitar lesson for Timmy. Timmy, we're cranking them out, dude. This one is tuned flat. And um, let's jump right in. It's a really fun song to play, man. Rhythmically, the solo, all of it. I only grossified one tiny little part in the solo, too. So, section one, back, it's distortion, Tim, but back the volume down a little bit. That'll cut some of that fuzz because it's not full, you know, balls out distortion. Open D, hammer on to two. Keep that ringing as you play the open E. Okay, and then two on the A, hammer three, pull open. When it rings, you go open D, three E, open A, and then on the E string, go three, pull off to two, pull off to open. And that's a really fun riff to play. A little tricky, but... And it does that ten times, and it just picks up the, the beats around it and get heavier and change up, but the guitar stays. Um, section 2, 39 seconds in. It's another fun rhythm to play. Fifth fret A and D. I would just bar it. You can use two fingers, but... And then follow that with three open E's palm muted and do that whole thing three times. It sounds like this. After three times, do one more open E palm mute to five D and G vibrato. And then, thank you, it basically starts over, um, but you'll go only two times into uh, five A and D, which we've been there. Um, followed by two open E's palm muted to 7 D and G vibrato. Now you can use your third finger, your first finger, it doesn't really matter on that. So that's kind of the whole idea of that. Does that four times. Section three, a minute nine in. I figured this little lead melody was what you were gonna want here. Tim, and it's pretty melodic. You'll go 5G vibrato. It's a. Oops. Oops. So 5G vibrato, then go 8B back to 5G. 7B half step bend release. So remember, half step, Tim, one fret. So a real slight bend. To 5G, 8B vibrato. Then. 7 is kind of the same concept, it's just up higher. 7G, 10B, 7G, 8B. Rest, and then 7G, 10B. So, kind of got a Def Leppard vibe to it. 9G, kind of still the same concept. You'll go... So 9G rest, 12B, 9G, to 10B rest, 9, 12GB. And then, <clears throat> kind of took the, um, this is the other guitar, but I, I kind of set it up as one guitar part. Bar the third fret, A through high E, go 5D and 5G. And it's a C2 bar chord. And then a series of repeats, really, until the, and that's the main rhythm of the song. The solo comes in at 2 minutes 52 seconds in. You'll go, it's octaves 5A, muted D, 7G. We're going to uh, hit, strum that, slide it to 7 9. Uh, strum the 7 9, slide to 9 11. Strum the 9 11, slide to 10 12. So. Then, start it over, 5, um, A, 7, G, slide to 7, 9, and then 7, 9, slide to 10, 12. Then going up further, and then 5, 7, but, um, and he takes the whammy bar and vibrados it. If you don't have a whammy bar, which I don't on this guitar, you can try to manually vibrato it, or you don't have to vibrato. Then the solo kind of kicks in here, 3, B, open E, slide to 5. Reminds me of Rocky like a hurricane where they go. I don't know, just kind of reminded me. Slide up there, 
Then go down up on the B and E string, 5th fret B, open E. Then you'll see the starting of double dots with down up, down up, times 4. So it's... And then down up, 7 G, 8 B. And hit them both, dive bomb the whammy bar. 3 minutes, 4 seconds in, 14 G and 15 B. I'm going to go 3rd and 4th finger, but you could go 2nd and 3rd. But get some support behind that. 3rd finger there. And hit them both, bend the G, the whole step, do that twice. Then you'll see some more double dots. 15 on the B, pull off to 12. And um, 14 G bend, I'm going to use my middle finger on that. And then up down on the 12 B and do that three times. So it's that a little slower for you. Now, Tim, make sure there's little things, man, particularly with solos, you, you, you know, with everything on your guitar, you want to take your time and be confident with the parts. When you bend, you don't want to go and hear any noise. So with the tip of my index, I'm setting the 12B down, but I'm, I have it pressed on the lower part of my finger. So I'm touching the G string so that it'll plop onto there, right? So, so it's real clean. And that's about how fast it is. Alright, and then onward. Page 3, 15B bend, 12E. And then 15, pull 12 on the E. 15 twice, bend vibrato. So it's, it'll be a 14 high E. We're going to bend a half step, hold it, and release it. And pull off to 12. And this is a cool run. 14, 12, E. 15, B, 12, E. Follow the picking in your tabs. So we have... Or, 12, 15, B. 14, 12, G, B. So you have... 14, 12, 14, D, G, D, vibrato. So we have... Twelve fourteen G and D, and then twelve fourteen G bend. Three minutes fifteen seconds in seventeenth fret on the B string, first finger, and then nineteen half step bend release, and then seventeen B to twenty E bend. Quadrato. That riff sounds like this. 19th fret on the B string, half step pre bend release. So bend it first, a half for, uh, one step or half step. So it's and then 17, 19, and then another one pre bend release to the 17 B. So 19 G bend vibrato. Then on the B string we're going to go 12, 13. 14, 12, G, and B. 12, 14, G, bend, hold, release. 12, 14, vibrato on the G. Three minutes, 23 seconds. 14, pull off to 12 on the G. To 14, D, do that four times. You can use your third or you can go third and end with the middle. 14 G bend, hold, 15 B, 14 G bend vibrato. 14 on the D, down up, and then 12, 14 G D vibrato. Sounds like this. Here it is slow. 7 G middle finger slide to 9. And then go 8, 7, B to 10, E vibrato. Here's what that sounds like. All right. 10, B bend to 7 on the high E. Do that twice. And then 10, E bend vibrato. 10, and then 10, bend vibrato. Again. Okay, I grossified this riff a little, but not much. 
10th fret E and B. Pinky, do like the shift with the finger. And then 7 E, 8 B. So we have 10 B to 9 G. 8 B, 7 9 G. Vibrato. Here that is slow. It's a cool little riff. 15 E bend vibrato. Then go 15, 14, and then 15 pull, 14, 12. So it's 14, 12 on the E. You're going to alternate pick this. And then 15, 12, B and E. 12, 15, B. So that's... Use that index once again to shift up. Let me slow that down. See what's happening there? Twelve E to seventeen E bend. So play them slow, Tim, until you memorize them. You know, um, if it's a faster riff, you know that that's one of the things that takes the longest on guitar is to build up the speed, but. It's a lot more uh, effective to find your comfortable speed accurately, right? And then just kind of push it to, to get faster at it. Top of page four, that's it for the solo. Um, it's all, actually all repeats. You'll see um, one part where it goes 2A, 5D, strum, rest, string mutes, down up, back to the 2A, 5D. So, looks easy, huh? But if you're not used to doing string mutes a lot of times people are putting too much pressure or not enough so and then back to section three one time section one eight times section four five minutes 24 seconds this actually is a new part this is what they end with um, they actually fade the song out 5a and D followed by the open E string palm muted three times so that's times three then fifth fret A and D slide a whole step sharp that's two frets up to fret seven and you just keep doing that that sounds like accept huh a little bit all right Tim having some fun doing these um, take your time and remember you're not expected just to be able to play the, along with these songs, man, a week after you're getting your tabs, or a month, or six months after. It's, it's different. It's per song, man. So take your time. Play the parts accurately and clean. If it's not very clean, you're going to have to slow it down and make sure you're memorizing it, all right? And it'll speed up naturally with time. All right, dude. Thanks.